Hello, welcome YouTube family. This is Manak. Welcome to your and my YouTube channel, The Civil Bros. So uh, here uh, we're going to just uh, go forward and design beams. This is a plain beam and two beams in RCDC if time permits. So uh, make sure you drop a like because it really encourages me to you know just move forward and also consider subscribing the channel if you find this useful. Okay, so now just uh, we'll accept the concrete design here and uh, you know this uh, just we'll project details you can enter and then I'll. Just choose the stat file which I'm working on currently, and uh, pile and column which we did in the previous video, and we'll go for beam. So now beams we have levels here which I've made in stat. So this is my plinth beam level. So let's uh, complete the plinth beam uh, thing first. So we'll create new project and uh, we'll import all the data from stat here. The same uh, thing file. We'll just first of all save this uh, this thing, and this will be my. Uh, this is my plinth beam design and our rcdc just to save this and uh, when we just uh, do this uh, plinth beam design in rcdc and we'll go to settings uh, just uh, create reinforcement gate which is available currently 32 mm will allow and okay and then go to settings uh, here the basic load cases and just the stat load combination which is made in stat pro so earthquake x earthquake z dead load live load and just select all of them and go here okay uh, just load combinations for regular structure and then uh, we'll just uh, do this design or you can go to design and then auto design so it will design depending upon the size of your building here and it is done now some uh, members might fail so and the members the enforcement you might not be happy with the reinforcement type so that those members you need to change so i'm happy with 225 maximum you know so this is you just see in mid top and left which is maximum so 225 i'm happy with that 225 and 225 i'm happy uh, with this uh, reinforcement arrangement here i know don't need to change but uh, here uh, it is it is uh, you know failing so uh, we need to give a size which you know is more so we'll do the design here and uh, uh, here we'll just uh, go 300 so this is the last beam I suppose and just design so this uh, 325 uh, maximum here in this in this portion so if you are uh, I'm not uh, satisfied I don't know if uh, all of them I'm giving 225 here uh, 325 uh, we can give okay if you are satisfied you can do or else you can unlock and change so I'm going to ch uh, change this uh, in just uh, unlock and change this to 400 depth just to reduce the reinforcement size and this is redesign so i've got uh, i've still got you know 325 in uh, some places so this is not worth it this 400 so we'll just uh, unlock it and keep it as 350 so like this i'm just showing you a demo of how to think and how to you know do these interpolations and um, coming up with the best possible design just showing you an example okay and just uh, click on this accept design so it will get changed here and uh, 225 uh, we can give here 225 okay all the beams if we give 225 on top and bottom except the one which we have designed 300 so they will um, pass eventually so this looks like a pretty uh, good design to me and we can apply them also you know in groups like if you watch my video you can see how my group thinks uh, to make them comfortable and make them easily executable so uh, i'm very happy with this uh, design so we'll just save this and uh, file is saved and then we'll go to you know just uh, input and uh, in this input we have the names here so we'll just need these names so this is the uh, in place of pile layout we'll just go here so this is my plinth beam layout so this is my plinth beam layout and just select save and this is saved and after that 
go reports and tech schedule to get my uh, schedule here okay so mm, see the first type and then okay this is my schedule okay so i'll just save this and uh, plain beam schedule so this is done and after this is done you can just simply save the file again this are need these things are needed in design you know drawing when while drawing and then go for the root beam so root beam is going to be a little bit more complicated in terms of you know some more members might fail uh, some more members will fail and uh, let's see if we can get a good suitable design for the roof beam as well and here stat file uh, open this and obviously we'll go for the beam and here 3.2 6.5 both have the same you know amount uh, type so we'll just create new project here we'll import the load comp and data from stat and after that uh, we'll just go here and save the first thing which i do is save the file so this in place of plain beam it will be my root beam save the file after uh, saving the file go to settings general and reinforcement settings here m550 and uh, click on ok settings here and uh, basic load cases same thing which we need to do earthquake x earthquake z and this is my dead load this is my live load i will just select all this do here okay add from template regular structure okay and then just you can select design from here or can go design and auto design same thing many members will fail i feel that but it is better compared to the previous project which i have done so beam sizes will be you know better so you can see all the unacceptable uh, you know, designs also i'll change so here i just check the maximum uh, reinforcement here 316 i'm just uh, okay with this 316 i think this is 225 maximum which is it is showing so it is also uh, you know okay and uh, here it is 225 here this one is a 225 maximum and th this one is more so 232 so this needs to be changed 32 mm reinforcement uh, maximum it is showing so we'll just go forward and uh, design so here in place of 250 we'll go 300 300 300 you go 400 let's uh, redesign here so did we get rid of the 32 mm and uh, less so it's 316 acceptable 320 is the, seems the maximum here so 320 if 320 is maximum it is uh, definitely acceptable so we'll accept this design and uh, here okay this is 225 fine 225 it's fine here maximum is 225 and here in this part let's see yeah I want to give the same thing here. Uh, here we'll just uh, design here, and uh, we'll just do this as 300. You can also have a trick here: Control plus C copy, and then let's place Control plus. Which I, no, this doesn't work here. Okay, okay, this doesn't work. To just individually go and do this. Good thing is that automatically RCDC groups them all the beams in one single span. That's very useful property. So that's why I design in RCDC. I don't do in standards. We also should try that. That is very useful criteria. So yeah, we're getting 325. I'm getting 325 here. I think uh, I'm happy. 325 is good for bottom and top. SFR you not not need uh, because there is no this more than uh, if you go for more than uh, 400 then we'll need that okay so here also uh, yeah this is a cantilever beam I think yeah cantilever and this uh, beam so this is failing 
okay so we'll go here with uh, 300 400 on next section right yeah it is passing but this yeah reinforcement is 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 is, is large so it is 325 and uh, this is 325 and 316 so I guess you can give extra reinforcement 325 and after that 316 for this particular reinforcement uh, for this particular beam if it is failing mm, you know if it's that much uh, failing or we can try a little bit you know more you know size as well if see if it makes any difference so we'll unlock this and let's see if it makes any difference to give 450 here So it is around uh, 620 that is 320 all through and 320 uh, you know this uh, your and side face reinforcement is not required still so I'll accept this design. So 3451B we made right 225 225 okay this also will tie this 300 to 400 okay I'll just uh, do the things because all the things are similar I'll just do the things now by pausing the video so I've designed uh, all the things effectively uh, I'll give maybe uh, three groups so first group will be 215 to 350 and uh, maximum maybe 320 and second group is is 250 into sorry next second group is 300 to 400 maximum maybe 325 and uh, and it, and the last group is 300 into 450 the maximum is 320 uh, main and 320 extra so this is the grouping which we have done and i'm happy uh, with the design and i should tell you that and as usual uh, we just save this design file so it will be apply print beam layout in case of print beam layout it will be in my roof beam layout okay and we'll just save this file reports text schedule and then ok and we'll save this file as saved and this will be root beam schedule right schedule and we'll just move forward and we can just uh, proceed with the steps of cat to complete the design and if you want to learn the steps of CAD are too much to upload in YouTube because there are a lot of things I'll do it eventually but if you want to learn uh, this professionally one project or two projects so that you can execute this properly you can just contact me uh, in my email which is be given in the description uh, for personal training professional training okay so make sure to like the video thanks for watching keep learning bye bye